Hey, I'm Stonewall from Stonewall Instruments, and I am introducing a new line of guitars. This is the Satie Pebble. Uh, Satie is the body shape, uh, named for my favorite, one of my favorite composers, and Pebble for um, the new line of bolt-on neck guitars that I'm going to be offering. Uh, so this guitar, a lot of things make this guitar special. One, the wood for the body, which is really cool. 150-year-old uh, cedar 2x4s that I glued together, and this is rot or like fire damage. It goes all the way through, and I soaked that in cyanoacrylate to make sure that it wouldn't continue to rot or spread. Um, uh, tongue oil finish, maple neck, maple fingerboard, 25 and a half inch scale, um, tortoiseshell pick guard, tortoiseshell pickup, tortoiseshell truss rod cover, tortoiseshell back plate, cut off tele bridge, vintage three barrel saddle, um, compensated. What really makes this guitar stand out is the pickups. Pickups are very unique. I'm calling them the majestic pickup set. And tonally, they are unlike anything else out there. I'm playing around with something really different here. I'm playing around with um, good eddy currents. Now there are good eddy currents and bad eddy currents. Um, bad eddy currents would be like uh, a brass base plate or a brass cover on a humbucker. And that brass kind of works as like a, a shield, keeping the magnetic field from actually doing what it's supposed to be doing, which is in circulating the, 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 the copper coil. Um, good eddy currents would be in every pickup. Uh, pickups are wound with copper wire, so these eddy currents are there all the time. So these pickups are utilizing those good eddy currents. The, the neck pickup, for example, 6.7K DC resistance. Now usually that would be done with 42 gauge wire, standard vintage uh, gauge wire. Uh, for a strap pickup, you know, um, just a, a few thousand turns, under 10,000 turns of 42 gauge wire. Here, I used a much thicker wire gauge, far more turns, like way more turns. So, Alnico rod magnets, um, quarter inch diameter, Alnico 5, uh, they are an inch tall, huge magnets, and I just filled this huge, you can see how big this pickup is. huge, filled that up with really thick wire gauge, came out to 6.7K DC resistance. So the tone is um, all the characteristics you would expect from 6.7K um, that you would expect from a Strat or Tele neck pickup. Um, very similar design, same DC resistance, a nickel rod magnets. Uh, but because there's so much more copper here, there's these eddy currents, these swirling magnetic currents that are perpendicular to the magnetic field and an opposite polarity of the magnetic field that are working against the magnetic field, but this time in a very beautiful way. They're not keeping the magnetic field from really doing its job. It's really just fattening the tone up in a really cool way. Think of like a Charlie Christian pickup, um, which is uh, 3K DC resistance. Uh, but that's wound with 38 gauge wire and, um, uh, and it's a much bigger coil. So think like a, a Charlie Christian pickup, but times two point, what, two five, something like that. Um, so big, thick tone, but with all the, the clarity and brilliance that you would expect from a vintage output neck pickup. Bridge pickup, same situation. Um, it's hotter. I used a, a slightly thinner wire gauge, still fatter than standard 42. Um, uh, bridge pickup is 9.8 DC resistance, 9.8K DC resistance. Um, and so it's driving a little bit heavier, you know, just your standard, a little bit hotter than what would be a vintage output. Um, but it has all the same similar tonal characteristics. It's a bigger, fatter tone with all the clarity and, and dynamics that you would expect. It's uh, really fantastic. The tone of these pickups is kind of like, um, it's kind of more like a P90 tone, but with like the, the snap and the uh, sparkle that you would get from uh, rod magnets instead of the P90 construction, which would be... Um, steel screws and two bar magnets. Uh, so it is a very unique tone uh, to my knowledge. I don't know of anyone else who's doing pickups like this right now. Um, 
And uh, this was the, the first time I ever experimented with it. I, I think this is just the coolest tone I've done in a long time. I'm very excited about it. And I plan to be using these pickups in a lot more guitars. So, uh, I've prepared a few songs for you, just three songs of very different styles from jazz to, um, you know, 90s rock to Tool at the end, uh, going through the different pickup positions um, so you can really get a, a good idea of, of what uh, these pickups can do by themselves, uh, individually and together um, as one, and with a little bit of uh, overdrive driving the amp as well. The amp is a Bugera Vintage 5, 5 watt amp, running through as a head through the, um, the 4x12 here. Uh, so it's uh, at 5 watts running through a 4x12, it breaks up pretty quickly, uh, so the clean tones aren't as clean, um, but you're going to get the idea. And seriously, I need to do something about this. I'm recording all my videos on an iPhone. So hopefully in the future, these videos will come out better, but I think you're going to get a good idea of what these pickups sound like even through an iPhone video. So let's move forward.